Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Before this one starts, Yuzu just announced that Skyward Sword is fully playable on their emulator. And that's what this video is about. It's going to be a guide on how to play Skyward Sword HD on the Yuzu emulator for PC. Now before we get into that, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We reached 25k subs, thank you a lot. And if anything doesn't work, join my Discord server and ask in there instead of the comments because it is harder for me to respond. And uh, yeah, join it anyway if you want to chat with me and others. And uh, yeah, check out my Twitch and uh, let's get right into the video. Alright, so as you can see on the screen, the things you need are the game, the emulator and prod keys now all links should be down in the description if they don't work they are also in my discord server and those do always work now let's start with the yuzu emulator you can get the regular yuzu emulator from yuzumu.org just look up yuzu emulator and you'll find their site now yuzu has their yuzu early access which is normally for patrons if you don't have money don't worry i have the link down below as well and in my discord server but yeah, you basically get the emulator and you open it. If it's the early access one, you unzip that and in the folder will be a yuzu.exe or yuzu file and you open it. Now this is how it looks like when you've already set it up, but if you didn't set it up yet, I'll show you exactly how to set it up right now. Okay, so you open your yuzu emulator and it will say that components are missing, but don't worry about it. Just click OK. You can say yes or no on this. I'm going to click no. And we're going to file. Open Yuzu folder. And in here there should be a keys folder. And all these other folders. If these folders are not there. Just make a keys folder. All small letters. Open it. And drag the prod keys file into it. So once you've pasted that in there. Just close Yuzu and reopen it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go and uh, darken the UI because I like my eyes. So it will look a little different, but it's basically the same. Okay, now this is the first time I'm going to recommend this, but on the bottom left there will be a OpenGL button. Click on it until it says Vulkan. If you get any weird glitches, try OpenGL, but I think this will be your best bet because recently they updated the whole shader process so most of my shaders i have in my discord server and under other videos are too old now so using vulcan will get rid of 99.9% .9 of all the shader stutters that opengl does have now put this on gpu high unless you have a really bad graphics card or at least on the low end try gpu normal but i'm gonna keep it on high and make sure this is checked on doc so the text is white now as it says here double click to add a new folder to the game list so again you're adding a folder not the game so you double click this and you find your games folder select the folder don't click in it just select it and as you can see it just detected all my games now if you want other games i made other guides on these games check them out and join my discord server for those links as well um, but yeah, basically you have the game now, you cannot play it yet because I'm going to show you all the settings that will give you the best performance and the best experience in Yuzu. So you go to emulation and then configure. Now you don't have to do anything in here. Again, if you want to change your UI, it's under here and I changed it to dark colorful if you want the same style as me. Now under system, you don't have to change anything, but if you want to change the time in any game, let's say Breath of the Wild, you can click custom RTC and change the time here. Now under CPU, you can keep the accuracy on auto. Um, you can try unsafe, just do whatever you want with that. Now under here, uh, normally I would recommend OpenGL, but as I said, since the new updates that they've been pushing out, great updates by the way, we'll make a video on that. You have to choose Vulkan in my opinion. You can try OpenGL if Vulkan doesn't work. And here you select your best graphics card. So if you have a laptop or a PC with a Intel HD and another graphics card, choose your right graphics card. In my case, it's a 3060. Now in here, keep all of this on. And under advanced settings in here, you can... Uh, 
try asynchronous shader building and GPU cache garbage collecting uh, or collection because it will dump old stuff. If you have a GPU with not too much VRAM, it will dump the stuff so your graphics card won't bug out. I'm gonna leave these disabled. If you have any problems with graphics card usage, which you can check in task manager. So if you have task manager, if you have it like this, just open for more details. And here you can see your GPU memory usage. You can check it that way, by the way. I know I'm going really fast, but you can pause the video or play back. Yeah, just keep the experimental options off. If everything works fine, try it with them on. And if it works better, then that's a plus. Now under audio, uh, I disable audio stretching. And yeah, the volume, you can do with whatever you want with this. I uh, would not touch the output engine. You can change the audio device. Now for controls, I have a Xbox 360 controller. Um, make sure the green box is on, otherwise your controller is not connected. Now in here, I would recommend dual Joy-Cons and make sure the console mode is docked on the bottom left. And under input device, if you can't see your controller, make sure to click the refresh button here. And then in my case, it's an Xbox One controller. As you can see, it should already be set up. Now, if you have a PlayStation 4 controller, try using DS4 Windows. After that is connected in DS4 Windows, I'm not going to show that because I don't have a, a PlayStation controller. Click the refresh button again and it should show up, I think, as the Xbox 360 controller or something. Basically, it should work as well. And yeah, basically after this, you uh, click OK. If you don't want the vibration, by the way, you can turn it off. And if you have motion, just like in the PS4 controller, you can turn it on here and configure these. I'm not going to go through that. Uh, just press OK and you're basically set. So now I will launch the game to show you that it works. I have to blur most of the screen because otherwise my video will get claimed by Nintendo. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave it in the comments if it works so other people know that it works and it's a real tutorial. All right, title screen works. All right, as you can see, it works. Uh, I don't know how to show you, but yeah, it's not pre-recorded, but uh, yeah. It works. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, join my Discord server. Watch my Twitch channel. I don't know what to say. Comment down below that it worked, as I said. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys. Peace.